The full video will be available from this site within 24 hours of the webinar completing. Moving on from here, once you've created a BlackBerry theme, the next step is to actually take it and distribute it to customers. On December 9, 2009, or December 7, 2009, we allowed BlackBerry themes to be available on BlackBerry App World for sale. And as of uh, this morning, we actually have over 400 themes available now, and we're pretty excited about the response, not only from our development community, but also from our customers as well. Now, for those that are new to BlackBerry application development and BlackBerry App World, it's very easy to become a BlackBerry App World developer. It's a two-step process. The first process is to simply sign up to become a vendor to have your application or your BlackBerry theme available. When you sign up for an application at, at BlackBerry App World's website, and the URL will be available at the end of this presentation to do so, you go in, sign up, provide your contact information and proof of identity, and you accept the terms and conditions of RIM's vendor agreement. Your application will go through an approval process with the application storefront management team. If you have any questions with regards to the approval process, there's actually an email that you can contact on the website to learn the status of your submission. Once your vendor agreement is, once your vendor, uh, you're approved to be a vendor in BlackBerry App World, the next step is actually to take your application or your theme and to submit it and have it made available. The submission process is also very easy. It's a wizard-driven site that guides you through a couple of easy step-by-step -step processes where you Add product information or theme information such as imagery and icons that will show how your products will appear in BlackBerry App World. You add descriptions that, that tell BlackBerry users about your product. You can also, with BlackBerry App World, target your theme or application. So you can choose which users of which carriers or BlackBerry operating system or which device as well will actually see the theme in BlackBerry App World. So it gives you a chance to really segment your audience if you so want to. You set the pricing model, and then you add version information and program files, and you click Publish. Then from there, what happens is your theme or application will go through an approval process where RIM will have a look at it, will make sure that it works, will make sure that it complies with the vendor uh, agreement as defined on BlackBerry App Worlds. And you'll also find that with themes, we have a couple of additional requirements. First, if a theme is going to go in BlackBerry App World, we need for you to provide proof of ownership. So if you, for example, make a theme of a particular rock band and you use their images, you use their music, we're going to want to make sure that you have the rights to do so. So you're going to have to provide proof that you own the photographs of any band members, uh, of any photographers that may have taken their pictures. If there's a ringtone that's used, you're going to want to provide proof that uh, you have the ownership rights or the rights to distribute the song in the theme. And you'll also have to prove that you have the rights to create a theme and sell it uh, commercially. The other consideration as well, too, is now that we're in excess of 36 million BlackBerry customers around the world, we're finding, obviously, that there's a wide range of BlackBerry users in all age groups. And because BlackBerry App World is available across the gamut of uh, the various age categories, you want to make your theme appropriate for all ages. Finally, you want to make sure that users can find your theme in BlackBerry App World because, in addition to theme, there are thousands of applications that are in there. We actually have a themes category that lives in BlackBerry App World where you can put your themes and a number of subcategories that can help put them in the right spot so that when users are searching for them, they can find them appropriately. Now from this point, um, I'd like to direct your attention to a couple of URLs that we have on the screen. First, to get BlackBerry Theme Studio, uh, it's a free download available from blackberry.com slash developers slash themes or blackberry.com slash theme studio. For information on BlackBerry App World and becoming a BlackBerry App World vendor, visit blackberry.com slash developers slash App World. And I'd also like you to uh, make note of the fact that RIM will be appearing at the BlackBerry Developer Day in, we are holding a BlackBerry Developer Day in Mobile World Congress in Barcelona on February 16, 2010. And for more information, visit blackberry.com slash developers slash app planet. That concludes the demonstration and slides portion of our presentation. Thank you, Mark. We're now moving on to the Q&A session. If you are attending a live presentation, submit a question through the question field located at the bottom of your screen. Please remember that this webcast will be available on demand 24 hours after the live broadcast. If you would like to download a copy of the slides referenced in this webcast, please click the link located under the resources section of this webcast. We're now being joined by our panelists, Mike Kirkup, Director of Developer Relations, and Jason Laughlin, Manager of BlackBerry Application Word. The panelists will be answering some of your questions as well. I will now 
turn the call over back to our presenters to answer some of your questions. All right. So uh, first one sort of from George here. Are signing keys necessary for it seems? Um, so no, you don't need to have signing keys at all. Uh, you just produce the output, the COD file, and uh, signing is not necessary at all. Um, we'll do another one from George. Is what is the impact on battery life? So as soon as the screen goes off, um, the animation is actually stopped from uh, processing. So there's no actual uh, processing going on when the screen is off. So uh, the impact on battery life when you have a bunch of different animations going on inside a the theme is um, fairly neg neg negligible. So uh, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, Okay. Uh, the next question is, where can I go to submit ideas and suggestions for future versions of BlackBerry Theme Studio? The best approach for that is if you go to blackberry.com slash developers, we actually have something called an issue tracker where when you log uh, suggestions, issues, or bugs, it actually goes to our developer relations team and also our product management team for consideration in future releases, and we love to see them. I uh, see a question here uh, around the $200 for 10 apps. Um, maybe instead of maybe instead there should be a percent of monies. Currently, uh, it's not obviously set up that way, but uh, we're open uh, to any uh, suggestions that you may have. Again, you know, we want to make this about the vendors, and we want you guys to be able to to create as many things as you can. Um, so, by all means. Uh, Storefront manager at rim.com. If you have any comments such as these, please feel free to forward them to me. All right. Um, so, a couple questions here. So, is there a way to create a web link from Composer? Currently, there is not uh, a way to do web links right from Composer. You can do third party apps. Um, in there, but you cannot do web links. Uh, we're looking into that, though. Um, and is it possible to edit currently installed themes using Theme Builder? So you cannot, once the theme has been exported and produced on the device, you cannot go back and import that uh, resulting COD file and bring that in the Theme Builder anymore. You'd actually need the, the source theme file in order to edit any of the theme files. So the next question is, can BlackBerry Composer import vector graphics from other applications like Adobe Illustrator? Uh, BlackBerry Composer can, in fact, import Macromedia Adobe Flash files as well as Adobe Illustrator files. BlackBerry Theme Builder, however, requires that they be converted to a bitmap format such as JPEG, BMP, or Photoshop files directly in order for them to uh, be imported in. I see there's a question here about promoting your theme, and it's actually an excellent question. that We get it a lot about how, how, do, how do I get my theme out there, you know, people to see it. One of the great things that we have is, is called our feature carousel. Um, it's a great way to, to, to show everybody um, that's using a BlackBerry that has AppWorld installed. It's one of the first things that, that you'd see as you come into AppWorld. Uh, another way is to, you know, get out into the, the web world that, that's available to you and, and, and get out there and kind of pound the pavement, you know, get out to the different sites, the BlackBerry sites that are available to you and, and reach out and just let people know, hey, you know, I have a new theme, could, could you give me a little a little time to kind of showcase it? Yeah, and this is Mike, and I, I, would, I would agree with that and, and even go a little bit further to say that, uh, uh, that, you know, you really have a huge opportunity to be able to go to the sites like Crackberry and, and Blackberry Cool and, and several others out there today. There's several sites that focus on themes specifically and they routinely do reviews of those themes. And so obviously you want to work closely with those vendors to make sure that you've got a you know a good review before they actually make it. Um, but you know definitely try to leverage that those channels because they'll have a huge impact both on visibility of your theme uh, but also on, on pick up and take up uh, after the fact and, and ultimately really good feedback to help you make your next theme or improve that one. 